It's back, guys. It's finally back. Episode 23. Massive panic at Sakuragi Park. Here we go. Oh. Today's episode starts with Go, who is taking care of his Pokemon by feeding them and also cleaning them. He even brushed his Dandler so clean that it became a shiny Pokemon. Like, not literally, but you see all those shiny sparkles? They are so sparkly. Oh, it must be very clean. Oh. <laughs> then we see Ash training with his Riolu and Mr. Mime. Although Riolu is trying really hard, he doesn't stand a chance against Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime then lies onto the ground like, wake me up when you're done and come on Mr. Mime, let this poor kid live, man! After Go screamed through his phone loud enough to make Ash deaf, Ash heads off to help him like he was originally supposed to. Typical bra moment from Ash here. We then get to see that there is no food on the Pokemon dinner plate, indicating that someone stole it. While the Pokemon get mad at each other because they suspect each other, Ash and Go try to figure out who the culprit could be. While they do so, and Squawford walks by and makes it more than obvious that it stole the food. Like, please Pokemon company, was this really necessary? I did hope that I could be at least a tiny bit surprised at the end of the episode. While Ash and Go keep thinking about who the culprit could be, Ash Gengar comes out of nowhere like Surprise, motherfucker! and pranks him from behind. They then get the 200 IQ plan to wait in the night for the thief to appear and proceed to do so. While they do this and Cypher gets really angry because it's so hungry and it nearly cuts a tree in two parts. By the way, I only mention this because it gets kind of relevant in the future. Then Ash and Go stay over the night in the park trying to catch the thief. Whilst Ash is supposed to watch over the food, he totally messes up like we know him and falls asleep. At the next morning, Pikachu wakes them up like... They then realize that the food is gone and the Pokemon keep being angry at each other. Whilst one group of Pokemon runs away from the other group, they stumble across two Pokemon that witnessed Cypher cutting the tree earlier. They then trick the Pokemon to think that they did it, but immediately regret it as they have to fight the angry Pokemon now. Take this as a life lesson kids. Don't trick people, you'll regret it. Then the situation kind of escalates as Golak loses its belt. It starts to rage and fires a red beam in the sky, causing some heavy rain. I'm a fire in my life. The Pokemon then work together to put back Golak's belt and the day is saved. <laughs> At least the fourth so <laughs> The rain caused a huge wave that is about to hit the free Cascoon that did nothing but chilling and getting ready to evolve the whole episode. Then all the Pokemon and even Ash and Go work together and successfully protect the Pokemon. The Cascoon then evolve and remove the rain that's still falling down. Yay! After all this trouble, the Pokemon finally get the food they deserve. While everyone is seeding, Go and Ash find the stash where someone has hidden all the missing food. It then gets revealed that Squawot has been stealing the food like, oh my god, who would have thought that? And here the episode is over. Well, not entirely. Golak loses its belt again and starts to rage crazy. Boy, that escalated quickly. But now guys, this is the episode. I personally enjoyed it and I guess it's a really good decision to give us some laughter and joy now, especially in these current times. And with that being said guys, make sure to let me know if you liked the video and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace!